What's going on, everybody? Crit City J here, ready to bring you episode number 10 of our Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke. Last episode, we took on the Water Dojo and just kind of explored the town a little bit more. Uh, this episode, we are ready to take on Whitney's Gym. And if it's the same as it normally is, this is a normal type gym. <clears throat> so, I really don't have any fighting type Pokemon, unfortunately, so there's nothing we can do super effective against her. Uh, but there should be nothing she can do that's super effective against us either. Hopefully. But let's go ahead and do a team recap. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and took out North Pole just because I think using a Dugon would be pretty cool. Um, plus, you know, I like Dugon. But Dugon knows Headbutt, Growl, and Aurora Beam. So not too shabby. We've got Snow Globe here, our Sand True, Scratch, Headbutt, Poison, uh, Sand Attack, and Poison Sting. We have Snow Angel, our Butterfree, Tackle, Sleep Powder, Confusion, and Supersonic. We have Fish Miss, our Gyarados, Splash, Tackle, Bite, and Headbutt. So we do have two Water Pokemon uh, on our team right now, but that's okay. Uh, we can replace you know one of them later on if we have to. Um, but I think our team is pretty well balanced. We got Rudolph, our Cool Lava, with Mud Slap, Fury Cutter, uh, Headbutt, uh, Headbutt, Ember, and he's holding Bright Powder just so we can get some misses, hopefully. <coughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Rocco, our Christmas Bat here. Leech Life, Supersonic, Bite, and Confuse Ray. Alright, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the gym. Let's see what you have to say. Yo, champ in the making! This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Well, I would if I could, dude. Would if I could. Alright, did I just take the long way around? I... okay. Okay. I can't even get around this, this lady right now anyway. She's winking at us. Uh-oh. Got me off, huh? Alright, so level 16, so I think we're pretty good with the levels right now. Um, let's let's try the Roar Beam. Let's just try it. Why not? Ooh, get some extra cash money. It's kind of a cool animation, let's be honest, guys. I mean, for second gen, that's pretty cool. Let's try Headbutt. Another payday, get some more cash monies. I feel like a headbutt from a Dukon would be painful. Because he's got that horn. We got the crit too, by the way. He's got that horn on the top of his head. I just uh, feel like it would hurt. Hurt like a son of a gun. Another Meowth. Maybe we'll get some more cash money from the payday. Alright, so let's see how much headbutt does. A bite. Don't flinch. Awesome. Uh, I think they did a little bit less than Aurora Beam did, but, you know, still a 2 at KO either way. <laughs> ah, excuse me. There we go, and down goes the Meowth. Alright, now that Snow Angel's up to level 21, we will remove the, uh... The experience share off of Snow Angel and give it to our Snow Globe. Uh, item take. Item give. go. And we can't go that way, so that sucks. That was a waste of time going this way, apparently. And if I remember right, this layout is supposed to, isn't it supposed to look like a Clefairy or something? I think it's a Clefairy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't like these little, these ladies here. They keep getting in my way. She's winking at me too. Beauty Selena. A Zigzagoon. We had a Zigzagoon once. One shot. Nice. So, I'm a little worried right now. Um, so, so far, the, um, the trainer levels here are really low. Pretty sure, I feel like they're lower than the last, okay, now they're at 13. But still, I feel like they're either lower or about the same as the last gym. For the trainers, anyway. Um, so I'm a little worried what the gym leader is going to be like because I feel like she's going to have a lot higher level mons than 
these uh, these gym trainers here. I don't know, but I just feel like that's what it's gonna be. So hopefully it's not too high much higher level. I don't want to lose anybody. We lost we lost three Pokemon in one episode already. I don't want to do I don't want to go through that again. So Headbutt did like nothing to this Lanoon. Alright, Aurora Beam does better. Alright, awesome. North Pole took that like a champ. Alright. I'm gonna go out... Well, nah, I'm not gonna... Never mind. I was, I was gonna say I'm gonna go out and heal, but... We don't need to. We got some... Medicine. Oh, it's in the same. Okay. We got potions here. And we'll use one more. That won't get us up to full, but we're, you know, we'll be close enough. I'm comfortable with that. It's, we're seven away from full. So I gotta go around this way. So there's, there's Whitney over there. Whoop. Right there. So we gotta get to her. Oops. Alright, well, at least she's not in the way of anything. We can just go around her. Last Miado? Miado. Last Miado. Schnubble! Schnubble! Alright, let's see how much Aurora Beam does. Okay, that wasn't enough. I don't think it's gonna be a 2 hit KO. Fight. Alright, awesome. Oh, it was a two account. I stand corrected. And I'm pretty sure Aurora Beam is. I don't think it'll tell me. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's special. Yeah, there's no way to like check that. Okay. Because there is the um, special and physical split in this game. I believe. I'm pretty sure the uh, creator put that in there. So this chick likes cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, so maybe her Pokemon won't be that strong. Maybe. Alright, last... Tristy? Tristy. Tristy. Okay. Jigglypuff. 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 Alright, that's horrible. Horrible. Alright, so defense girl, again, that shouldn't matter, because I'm pretty sure Ice, even, even if this wasn't, um, like, the split where, you know, certain, you know, it depends on the move, not the typing, pretty sure Ice is still special, no matter what. We'll stay in. That was a nice damage. Alright, sweet. I hate Sing. Because one, when I have it, it never hits. And when the opponent has it, it seems to hit all the time. I mean, it didn't that time, so I'll give it, you know, I'll say that, but it seems like most of the time it usually hits for him. Alright. Kind of funny, like, watch where the Aurora Beam comes from. It comes from, like, uh, North Pole's neck. Oh, so we missed again. It's like, Aurora Beam, spit it from your neck. It doesn't come out of his mouth, it comes from its neck. So when you're fighting a, uh, uh, when you're fighting a Dugong, there we go, I couldn't take that name for a second. When you're fighting a Dugong, you gotta watch out for the powerful neck. Not its mouth, not its horn, its neck. All right, let's get out of here and go heal. And that chick is still on our way. All 
right. Heal up. And we are ready to take on Whitney. Yeah, hopefully her levels are not too much higher than her gym trainers. I mean, usually they are higher. Let's I mean, come on, they're gym leaders, so you think they'd be higher than their trainers, but hopefully it's not, like, significantly higher. Alright, ready to do this? Let's go. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone once, uh, everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it, too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Okay. Alright, here we go, guys. Sends out a Clefairy at level 19. So it is a little bit higher, but it's not too high. We're, we're on par. Alright, that's going to be like a 3-hit, 4-hit KO. And double slide hips three times because that makes perfect sense. Alright. Let's get a high roll on this one. So three hit KO. Okay. No, no. I don't like metronome. That's that's fine. Okay. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's fine. Alright. Let's go for a headbutt. Okay. Save our PP Aurora Beam for whatever she sends out next. For whatever she sends out next. Alright, what is going to be next? I'm about to use Mil Tank. Okay, so Mil Tank is the Pokemon I'm worried about. I'm going to go out into Rudolph. And hopefully our starter doesn't go down to this mill tank. Um, if it starts rolling out... Attract, of course. I forgot about Attract. I hate Attract. So we need... Alright, I might have to switch out into a female Pokemon. Infatuated. Yeah, okay. What do we have for female Pokemon? It doesn't tell us. Of course it doesn't tell us. Alright, Fishmas is female. Let's go out into Fishmas. I hate the whole falling in love thing. Stomp. Alright, that is a good amount, but... Roll out. Alright, here's what I was worried about. Alright. We should be able to take another one. Alright, this is the time I gotta heal, though. We need a crit or something? We did get a crit. Awesome. Alright. So I need a heal. What do we have for We got super potions, right? Uh, I got a couple full heals. There's our super potions. Okay. Oh my god. She has to miss her next one. She has to. Um, I'm going to go into a full restore. Just because, I mean... What else am I gonna do, right? I need I need to heal up more than a super potion's gonna allow. Oh, I think this is I think we're dead. I think we're done. Yeah. <sighs> I hate rollout. Um Let's try Snow Globe here. And sand attack. Is she still going on her Oh, okay, I think we're done, guys. I he lived it! He lived it! Oh my goodness, I wish I'd have gone into him. If she gets another one though, I'm screwed. Okay, it stopped. Alright. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do sand attack. Oh my goodness, thank goodness for Snow Globe. And we're going to headbutt. Alright, so we should live that as long as it didn't crit, and it didn't. Alright, now we gotta heal again. Okay. Nice, awesome. 
Oh my goodness. She just demolished. And of course you flinch. She just demolished Fishmas. Come on, I got two two, two sand attacks up. You can't be hitting all these stumps. <sighs> and a Clefable. It's going to Rudolph. Alright, it's another female, unfortunately. Figured it would be. I think all of hers are female. Oops, I didn't mean to head bad. I meant it to Ember. Oh, well, maybe it'll flinch. Nope. Alright, double slap. Crit. Another crit. Awesome. Yeah, you get two crits with your double slap. Why not? Oh, I'm a little salty right now, guys. We lost fish miss. Are you kidding me? That's all it did? Low kick. It misses. I'm going to do it Ember again. I'm hoping for a burn. We haven't got a burn yet for it with Ember. Come on. Alright, I'm missing. Let's try a headbutt. We got the flinch. Awesome. Oh, we take down... Uh, what's your name? Whitney, thank you. I couldn't remember her name. Oh, I, I can't believe we lost Fish Miss. I liked Fish Miss. Ugh. I should have went out into Snow Globe earlier. I should have known that he had better defense. Ugh. <clears throat> anyway. Wah! You're mean! You shouldn't be so serious. You, you, you child, you. Are you kidding me? You're crying, and I'm the one that got a Pokemon that died. You can just heal yours up. You're not playing a Nuzlocke. Me? I'm playing a Nuzlocke. I Fish Miss legitimately died because of you. I hope you're happy. Anyway. Oh, no. You made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Good for her. Cry more. Alright? I'm not happy with you right now. What? What? What, what, what do you want? A badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's... Plain ba here's plain badge. Now here's the plain badge. Here's plain badge. And we got Jason received plain badge. I feel like there needs to be the or a or something in front of that. Plain badge. Plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength as that a battle. It also boosts your Pokemon speed. Oh, you can have this too. All right, let's see if this one makes sense. I'm guessing it's attract. That's what it usually is, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Blah blah blah. All right, let's get out of here. So, so far, the last two gyms have at least have made sense on the teams they give you. The first gym, giving us, what was it, Mud Slap or something? No sense at all. On a flying type gym, why would you give me a ground type move? Still don't understand that. <sighs> Let's go heal up. And we need to deposit Fish Miss. Change box. We've got five deaths, people. Five deaths. By the way, this reminds me. Um, I haven't mentioned this yet. At least I don't fake. Um, I've been. I talked a little bit about in the, in the comment section with uh, Mega VG Master, which is kind of how I came up with it. Well, combination of the two of us, anyway. Whenever a Pokemon dies, there gets an ornament or something on the tree um, to commemorate their death, basically, or their well, commemorate them. Um, for instance, like Tensil, I put, if you didn't notice, I put Tensil on the tree where he died. It's always going to be wherever position they are on the tree when they die. That's where the ornament or whatever goes up. I put Tensil up on the tree when Tensil died. I put a present next to the tree when present died, you know. And then ornaments, I think, for the other ones. I think. So, just so you know, um... So we'll put something on the tree. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but we'll put something on the tree for Fish Miss. Whoops. Um, right where he was supposed to be at. Well, it should have already actually been up there for you guys. Um, obviously, I haven't made it. I haven't done it yet, so I don't know what it's going to be yet. But anywho, enough talking. So I need to figure out what I want to evolve Eevee into. We could use a Grass-type Pokemon, which we can actually get right this second, um, and change him into Leafeon if we wanted to. 
Leafeon is not my favorite EV evolution, though. I really don't like um, Leafeon that much. I really do like um, Jolteon and Vaporeon. Those are probably my two favorites. Actually, Glaceon is pretty cool, too. Um, those would be my three favorites. Um, well, I don't know. Umbreon is pretty cool, too. I like Umbreon. I don't know. I, I like I like a lot of the EV evolutions. But anyway, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Leafeon. So I don't know if I really want to change them into Leafeon. Um, Eggnog is kind of cool. But he's so weak, it would take me forever to get... Well, I mean, we do have the experience share. Let me see here. I think I'm going to take out Eggnog. Just because I've never really used a Togepi or any of his evolutionary line. Um, if you guys would rather see anybody else on the team, let me know. I'm perfectly fine with switching out Eggnog. Um, and let me know what you think Eevee should evolve into. Oops, wrong button. Because, like I said, I'm having a hard time deciding. Um, Glaceon would be kind of cool just because this is a uh, Christmas Nuzlocke. And, you know, Christmas and all that jazz, you know, ice, snow, you know. Um, so that'd be kind of cool, but we already have an ice type with North, with North Pole there. So, I don't know. Whatever, what, you, what do you guys think, like I said? Um... Let me know in the comment section. Whoops. In the comment section below what you guys want Eevee to evolve into. Oh, let me go buy some more super potions since we used a bunch in that battle. This is a contest, right? No. Okay, wrong one. Anyway. I just thought I'd see, you know, why not? See if we won anything. I don't remember what for the contest is, though. I'm not going to worry about it. You know what? I want a lot of super potions. We're going to buy 10 more. So 10 on top of however much we had already. Alright. We, yeah, we're, I was going to say, I think we're good with Pokeballs. And then I remembered that we bought a ton from Kurt. So we got a ton of different kinds of Pokeballs. So we're perfectly fine with Pokeballs. Alright, I believe we can go north now. I think we're done in Goldenrod. Whoa, I went, I didn't, I went a little too far. A block of ice is blocking the road. It's a real pain in the neck to, for two travelers. Maybe a Pokemon would be able to melt it away with a move. I hope so. Wait, yeah, shouldn't we have gotten like a move like that or something? I feel like we should have already. And we got a Lepa Berry, yay! Anything up here? Nothing. Seriously? I can't even walk over there. Alright. So let's make, just try to make sure I'm fighting all the trainers. We need the levels. Are you going to the gym? Me too. Uh, depends on what gym you're talking about. I already beat Whitney. It was a little painful. I lost a Pokemon. Not that you asked. But yeah. Alright, so Volpex. It would be really nice if uh, North Pole knew a uh, water move right now. But that's okay. Ember. That should be like neutral damage. Yeah. Because super effective against ice, but weak against water, so ipso facto, neutral. And Eggnog grew to level 6. And Eggnog, I think, is like the perfect thing. Like I said, I think it's kind of, you know, it's not as creative as some of the other ones, but. I like it. I also kind of like North Pole for Dugong. I think it's a good nickname. A Weeping Bell, huh? A Weeping Bell? You can feel the wrath of my Aurora Beam. Boom. And we learned Metronome. Yay! Metronome is so dangerous, though. A Curlia. You know, we'll just stay in. I feel like Curlia probably doesn't have that great of physical defense. Or just regular defense, I guess. Yeah, so that should... I say that should, So a headbutt should do quite a bit. And it did. Almost a one-hit KO. Not quite, but close. Alright. 
And I'm not really sure how Togepi evolves. Is it just by level up, or do you need something special? And I also don't know if Togekiss is in this generation. I don't think it is. I think it's just Togetic. But I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so we got Diglett, who's a ground type. And if you've watched at all part 2 of our of Pokemon um of be sorry, best of Crit City J from my Pokemon Yellow LP, you would know that I've had a heck of a time with Diglett's on that. So Diglett's not exactly the, you know, most liked Pokemon for me anyway. Alright. Use the speed up button a little bit, just because these battles kind of drag on a little bit, you know. A Zubat will stay in. It's flying type, so it's going to go down to this Aurora Beam. Well, that was easy. Alright. Is this a double battle? Do they have double battles? I'm guessing they don't look this way at the same time ever. I don't think double battles existed. No, they didn't exist until third gen. Voltorb. Level 2 Voltorb. What are you doing with a level 2 Voltorb? Bye bye Voltorb. Alright, what do you got next? Another Voltorb. We will stay in. Is he gonna be level 2 again? Ooh, at level 6. You're moving on up, buddy. Of course, he's got four Pokemon. He started at level two. This is level six. So that's times three. Six times three is eighteen. So if his trend is going, now we're, now we're gonna get a little scary. I'll stay in. Let's see if the trend is ten. So he's growing by four each time. So that's the trend. It's not times three. It's plus four. So the next one, my guess, is level fourteen. See, it's all about patterns, guys. Patterns. I don't know if, I don't know if too many people know this. I, I actually was a uh, math teacher for a few years. I didn't really like it, so... But it is 14, like I said. Um, and that's all math is, guys. Math is just patterns. Especially geometry, which I love... Which was my favorite subject, by the way, geometry. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, enough about school. Enough about that. Nobody wants to listen to any of that while they're watching it. A Pokemon uh, LP, let's be honest. There we go. I was just waiting for her to turn around. Or him, I guess. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. I thought it was a girl. It's a boy. Never mind. It's a cue ball. Cue ball Walt. Alright, Walt, what do you got? You got Rhyhorn, huh? I believe Rhyhorn isn't he rock ground. So an Aurora Beam will be super effective. I like having North Pole on the team. I'm glad I picked him. He's a cool Pokemon. A Tauros. We'll stay in. I'm glad. I don't remember who suggested... That, that, uh, said that they wanted to see um, Dugong. But I thank you for the suggestion. It was a great suggestion. Definitely worth the, you know, worth the ad. Bye-bye, Tauros. Taurus is a pretty cool Pokemon. You're darn right I can go through. So how do I get over there? Did I miss something here? How do I get over there? I feel like I missed something. Here, take this leaf stone as a gift. Nice, we got a leaf stone. I kind of was gonna say, I'm like, they usually give us something, you know, after you beat Whitney. Like, a, well, it's usually, whoops, it's usually a, uh, a a water bucket or whatever, so you can uh, water the 
oh, what's it called? Shoot a widow that's in the way up there. But this time they give me a leaf stone. Nice. All right. Well, I don't. Whoops. I don't know how to get over there. Maybe we'll figure it out later. But we are gonna call this an episode. Next episode, we're gonna continue on. You know, making our way through Johto and everything, and head up north, and hopefully figure out how to get to that Pokeball over there because I really want to know what it is. But we're going to call this an episode. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you leave a like rating down below. If you didn't like this episode and you want to leave a dislike, that is perfectly fine. Just I ask if you let me know why you didn't like it. That'd be nice. That way I can, you know, improve. And maybe next time you'll actually like the video. I don't know. Um, and if you're indifferent on the video, go ahead and leave a like rating. That would be, that'd be nice of you. Um, anyway, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a moment of all this exciting action. Go check out my Pokemon Platinum uh, Second Chance talk that I got going on the channel as well. Uh, we're getting close to the end. Uh, we have one badge left to go. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I think there's quite a bit of story le yet um, to do. But still, one badge, one more badge, and then we're, we're ready for the Elite Four. It's pretty exciting. Um, anyway, lastly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know two things. One, what you want Eevee to evolve into. Uh, zero, what you want Zero to evolve into, and two, what you want for a team member. If you want anybody other than Eggnog, or if you, or if you think Eggnog is great, let me know. If you think Eggnog is good, let me know that. If you want a different, you know, member, let me know that as well. That way I can get a, you know, a feel of what you guys want to see. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.